it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. We're here at KubeCon 2019 and we're in San Diego and we're visiting with uh, Mac Stadium. Can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Sure. Uh, Mac Stadium was founded a little over seven years ago and you can think of us as an AWS or Azure type platform but all Mac infrastructure. Our purpose really is to provide Apple infrastructure at scale as a true cloud and that's that matters because people who do iOS and Mac OS builds uh, really don't have a good avenue for infrastructure at scale. Now, how we fit into KubeCon is a little bit of an interesting story and journey. Uh, my team is a software team at Mac Stadium, and what we wanted to do is really empower the development community to be able to use Apple infrastructure the way other teams in non-Mac infrastructure use it. So we developed a platform based on Kubernetes and Apple hardware that actually containerizes Apple OS and lets you orchestrate it with Kubernetes on your own personal clusters on Apple infrastructure. And you, know, you touched a little bit about how you work with Kubernetes, um, but what specific problems do you, do you uh, fix for Kubernetes? Yeah, so as far as we know until now, there's been no uh, Apple OS for Kubernetes at all. It's basically Linux-based OS and some Windows-based OS. So we bring Apple OS into the Kubernetes ecosystem. And again, the, the problem we really solve is we're giving people all the power and benefit of Kubernetes and its interfaces, uh, but with the Apple and iOS ecosystem. So it's kind of the best of both worlds for our developers. Great. And uh, I understand you had some announcements around the show. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what you announced. Yeah, so our platform is called Orca. It stands for Orchestration with Kubernetes on Apple. And we're really excited to get it out there and have people try it. So one of the things we built was a automatic cluster creation tool that lets you demo it for a short period of time. So if you go to tryorca.com, you can log in and we'll send you a token. It'll spin you up your own personal cluster and let you use the tools and play with them and see how it really works. And you mentioned that they could go and try that out. Is there anything else, you know, if they want to find out more information about Mac Stadium or maybe get in touch with you guys, uh, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, uh, it's really easy. You can go to macstadium.com and if you want to specifically focus on the Kubernetes and Orca piece of it, macstadium.com slash Orca gives you uh, uh, full access to our documentation, our REST APIs, and all the tools and technology and use cases around Orca. And it's a really good way to find out what's going on. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Thank you. We appreciate it.